What is up, Vikings fans? We have another member of the Vikings rookie draft class joining the Minnesota Vikings podcast. It's Cameron Dantzler, the third round pick out of Mississippi State. What's going on, man? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. I, I think I have to start out this interview uh, asking you about your nickname because I, I, I just love it. Like, it just sticks out the needle. Ooh. I think it says a lot about your frame and your, your tall body frame being a cornerback mm -hmm. and, and having that long range. So tell us how you got that nickname, where it came from, because I, I mean, I just love it. Well, it came from high school around like sophomore year. I was probably like 140 something, 150 something. And I was always a, a tall, skinny guy. Then, you know, I was always coming up, tackling people, and they stayed down for a long time. The coach was like, we're going to call you the needle. And ever since then, the name just, you know, stuck with me. I love it. And do you plan on, on making that stick and keep sticking throughout throughout your oh, yeah, no. career? Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, so gotcha. what happens when they – what happens when quarterbacks try to thread the needle? What do you what do you say then? <laughs> and that's when, that's when they pop, the ball pop and comes to my hand. <laughs> I, I love it, man. Uh, well, going back to your high school days – uh, you played both sides of the ball. You were a quarterback, and you ran for a ton of yards. You threw for a ton of yards. Um, how do you think that will help you kind of translate into your career um, as a cornerback in the NFL? Oh, I just feel like um, when playing the position of quarterback in high school, it helps you with the corner position. You know, a lot of corners really play quarterback in high school. So it's like you know what the quarterback is thinking. You know his read, his eye contact to the receiver. Um, so I just try to progress that to my game moving forward um, because, you know, like I said, I played quarterback my junior and senior high school, and that just helps me a lot with um, the corner position. I was looking back at some of your previous interviews, and you were talking about your, your best trait is your confidence. You're mm -hmm. really confident out there playing in the SEC in college. Uh, where did that come from, and, and how do you think that – do you think you're going to have that confidence when you step in the uh, purple and gold with the Vikings? Oh, no, that is going, it's going to be even – more dangerous and step into the um, next level because, you know, like I said, I've been dotted my whole life. So me being a small guy, you just got to have that confidence in what you can do and know your abilities. So I just try to take that with everything I do, not just football in life too. You, know, you just got to have confidence. So I just take that on the field and then it just turned out on um, perfect for me. Speaking of confidence, I was looking at the pro football focus stat a few days ago, and they said your passer rating when targeted your last two years of college was 43.6. And for comparison, if you just slap the ball down every single play, it would be 39.6. So I think that's a pretty good stat for you to hang your hat on. You're right. It is. It is. So what is it about your game that you just do such a good job uh, just defending the ball and keeping the ball out of the receiver's hands? Um, I'm going to be honest, I got to give that um, most credit to my position coach in college, uh, Terrell Buckley. Um, he was a guy that taught me a lot. You know, coming into college, I never really played corner. So I was confused still, didn't have hips or nothing like that. I was just athletic. So, you know, they tried me a corner when I got to college. And having a guy like Coach Buckley, he taught me a lot, you know, patience, eyes, hands. Um, I really got most of my, you know, my confidence swagger from him because you know, he's one of those guys that had confidence and swagger. And, you know, I want to say is you know, cocky, but like I say, yeah, confidence. So you got to be cocky a little bit. I had a little cockiness and a little flavor of cockiness in my own game. But, you know, I just got to give him um, most credit to him. Looking at some of the cornerbacks in the NFL, a lot of the great ones have that cocky slash confident mm -hmm. uh, type going with them. Who was a player you looked up to growing up and who you really try to model your game after? Growing up, um, I'll say he was Tyron Matthew growing up. But right now, I'll say it's Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey and Richard Sherman. You know, those guys, they play with fundamentals. They fundamentally sound. They throw a technique. And they got that swagger to them. Especially Jalen Ramsey. I just love that swaggerness about him. You know, I try to watch his game, him and Richard Sherman, just that swaggerness. Yeah, those are those are some pretty good guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Back at your college career, you played a ton of big games. And um, one game that the Vikings uh, front office pointed out was the game against LSU. Uh, I think mm -hmm. you had a forced fumble in that game. And you played Jamar Chase pretty well um, in one-on-one. -on -one. I think you held him below like 50 yards, 60 yards. Um, mm -hmm. What was it like playing in, in the SEC and playing against such tough opponents pretty much 
week in and week out? Um, I'll say preparation. Um, everything started with preparation. So Sunday after the, the previous game, I just go in, you know, study receivers, try to know their strengths, their weaknesses. And uh, I actually hold Chase to only one catch, and that was like six yards, but not just had to throw it out there. But uh, I, I love it, man. <laughs> just got to know, got to be um, prepared for guys like that. You know, I was, very, I was, you know, very prepared for him. I knew what he liked to do. I knew what he didn't like to do. Um, I know his strengths, his weaknesses. So I just, you know, studied that um, throughout the week, and I was prepared for him on Saturday. Yeah, his teammate over there at LSU is now your teammate, Justin Jefferson. I know you guys are both from Louisiana. Uh, mm-hmm. Talk about the relationship that you guys have. Um, we know we actually trained together too for the combine. So you know, we was always saying, like, what if we got drafted together?" You know, we like we battled a lot for the combine. We battled in college, so it just just a, ble- a blessing to have a great player like him on your side. And guys going to help you get better each and every day at practice. Yeah, he tweeted right when you got drafted that that you were a real one. And then he uh, kind of tweeted a few weeks ago, making fun of your swag out there at Mississippi State. I think you had some long socks going on. Yeah, I did. You know, you got to switch it up a little bit. Got to switch it up. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, looking at the Vikings, man, we got a lot of SEC players. We have Irv Smith at Alabama, another Louisiana guy. Um, just so many players from the uh, SEC. We just talked to DJ Wanham, who played at South Carolina. So, uh, do you guys kind of have a tight knit bond? Some of you guys. Oh yeah, um, me, I'll say, um, Jets, um, Irv. I've been bonded with Mike, um, Hollywood, Houghton Hill, um, Jeff Gladley. Uh, you know, it just I just like you know, it's a good thing to have a bond with your teammates. Um, with, with this pandemic we in, so you know we get close, so we get on the field, we can just get right to it and move as one. Well, looking at the opportunities this year for cornerbacks on the Vikings roster, I mean, you have to be excited. A um, ton of players that, that left in free agency, and it seems to be that it's going to be a young core um, at, at the Vikings cornerback position. So are you ready for this opportunity this year? Oh, yeah, I like pressure. You know, um, I've been, like I said, I've been doing pressure my whole life, so I've been beating odds my whole life. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. So it's probably safe to say that if we drafted 15 cornerbacks with all of our positions, that Coach Mike Zimmer would be uh, very happy <laughs> with every single pick. He's a big fan of the cornerback position. So uh, mm-hmm. what have your interactions with him been like uh, so far, virtually, of course? Uh, I really haven't spoke to him as much in the virtual meetings. You know, he talks to me when they draft me. And he was like, you know, he loved big, tall corners and fields of corners. And he's looking forward to me, um, you know, contributing to the defense. I'm looking forward to, you know, making plays and, you know, just be thankful that he um, drafted me. He gives those corners a lot of tough love. So you ready for that? Oh, tough love, the best love. I've been having tough love my whole life. I, I love to hear it. Well, looking at uh, some of the things off the field, it looks like you have uh, a, a couple of little children there that you had uh, in the past year or so. So how, how has that yeah. been going? You, you're becoming, a, you're really growing up real quick. Oh, yeah, having kids, you have to mature and grow up real fast. But no, I just feel like um, it's just a blessing. They're just making me go harder. So it's, it's, not, it's not for me anymore. It's for them. So they're my reason why I'm really doing this now. So for Vikings fans out there, tell them one thing about you, yourself, that they wouldn't know. Maybe off the field, just something different that they wouldn't know about you. I like to go fishing. You know, I'm a, I'm a nature type of guy. I like the fishing, hunting. You know, I just like the, the wilderness. I think you're going to do well. You're going to do well in Minnesota. There's like 11,000 lakes. <laughs> For real? Looking forward there's to a, it. There's a lot of lakes, man. <laughs> I didn't even know that. It's, it's, I heard it's so cold down there. <laughs> I was about to say, growing up down south, I know Irv always makes jokes. He, like, can't handle, can't handle the cold over here. But are you ready for the cold? Well, I ain't got no trust but to be ready at this point. <laughs> Well, at least U.S. Bank Stadium is is indoors, and and you'll be warm up in there. That's for sure. Right. All right. Well, thanks, Cam. We uh, we look forward to hopefully seeing you very soon at the TCO Performance Center, and and hopefully you can finally meet your teammates all in person, all together. Mm -hmm. Thank you.